Now in Russia, anti-war stands can be punished even for likes on social media. For example, activist Daria Haikinen was even sentenced without her knowledge under the article of discrediting the armed forces of the Russian Federation. She got away with an administrative fine. Every time I have to choose words in such a way as to clearly indicate my position and, at the same time, it is desirable not to go to the pre-trial detention center the next day. For those who are ambiguous, articles about discrediting are an attempt to consolidate newspeak. And for those who disagree with the official position of the state, it is a measure of punishment. Since February 24th, the Russian security forces have stopped any attempts by citizens to express their position regarding the war in Ukraine, starting from activists and politicians and ending with ordinary Russian who, for example, went out into the street with a white sheet of paper. There are several thousand such protocols across the country every day. It is no longer possible to count them. For example, a person can go out with a white sheet of paper to the Red Square and he or she stands there. That's it, an administrative violation. Another person was brought to administrative responsibility because he liked a certain publication in Odnokwasniki social network. Almost immediately after the start of a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Kremlin tightened criminal legislation and introduced anti-war articles into it. Now everyone who does not support the war in Ukraine is at risk. Shortly after the large-scale invasion of Ukraine, the State Duma introduced and Putin signed the law on responsibility for discrediting the armed forces of the Russian Federation, the so-called law on fakes, and now it is an article that provides for administrative and criminal liability. It is also one of the most popular repressive tools. Since February 24th, Russian human rights activists have recorded more than 16,000 arrests for an opinion that does not correspond to the official position of the authorities. It is also known about dozens of initiated criminal cases. According to preliminary data, there are about 200 of them, and one of these 200 defendants in criminal cases under the so-called anti-war articles is already behind bars. Deputy of the Krasnoselsky district of Moscow, Alexei Gorinov, will spend the next seven years there. They put Alexei Gorinov behind bars. Three sentences under Article 207 and 3. The first two were fines. The first, one million rubles. The second, a suspended sentence. The third, Alexei Gorinov, deputy of the Krasnoselsky district, was imprisoned. Currently, the well-known oppositionist Ilya Yashin is under investigation under the same article. I think that the terms of serving the sentence will be comparable. Both ordinary Russians and the media can become victims of persecution for an anti-war position in Russia if its rhetoric differs from the Kremlin's. For the mere refusal to call the war in Ukraine anything other than a special operation, several media outlets were blocked in the first week of a full-scale invasion, in particular Echo of Moscow, the New Times, Dorst. The latter's website was blocked by the Federal Service for Supervision of Communications, Information Technology and Mass Media. And the editor-in-chief Tikhon Zetko and some of the journalists were forced to leave Russia because of threats. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Vlad Tsurkan, UATV News.